I was repenting before the Lord, and the Holy Spirit swept over me like a wave of brooding emotion. I began to weep, repenting for the ways that I have failed to love others according to the word in 1 Corinthians 13. Have I been patient, Lord? Have I been kind? Have I envied and boasted? Have I been proud or rude or self-seeking? Have I been easily angered and kept a record of wrongs? Have I delighted in evil? Oh Lord, have I rejoiced in the truth? Have I protected those around me? Have I been trustworthy and trusted others? God, have I hoped for their blessing? And have I really persevered in that love for them? Because true love never fails. I could see myself as I prayed and quietly out of the darkness emerged the beautiful person of Jesus. He picked me up in his arms and tenderly walked me to our special place of fellowship, a spectacular cliff overlooking a little sandy cove with an expansive view of the ocean. It was sunrise and he spoke to me. It is a new dawn and it is a new day. I relaxed my entire being into him and allowed him to hold the full weight of all that I am. He stood with me in his arms like that for quite a while. And then he sat with me on the familiar bench on the hilltop as we watched the metamorphosis of night into day, darkness into light, and sorrow into rejoicing. It was a new day. I rested beside him, leaning on his everlasting arms, my father, my savior, my brother, and my friend. In the book of Revelation, the Church of Philadelphia was given the blessing of the key of David because of their perseverance in love. And although they had little power, they stood strong in intimacy with God, in prayer, and in that pure relationship with Christ, even as King David had. David was graced with this key of intimacy with the Lord, and so was the church of brotherly love. Lord, will you help me to truly love, I asked him. And he replied, time is short and all will see that love is the only answer and the only redemption for a fallen world. I was pricked in my heart knowing that I had fallen short of loving those around me. He put his hand on my heart and said to me, I am the source of love. I am love. And when you fall short, call on me and I will rush in like a mighty river to wash away the sins of this world. I will heal all those around you and I will carry them in the stream of life-giving water that pours out of my throne. Psalm 46, four through 11 reads, there is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy place where the most high dwells. God is within her. She will not fall. God will help her at the break of day. For nations are in uproar, kingdoms fall. He lifts his voice, the earth melts. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Come and see what the Lord has done, the desolations he has brought on the earth. He makes wars cease to the ends of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the shields with fire. He says, be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. 
As we watched the sun peek up over the horizon, he spoke again. And the sun rises with healing in its wings. Healing is coming upon the earth. There is always darkness before the light. He leaned back and pulled me closer and we rested together. He was in no rush as he kissed the top of my head and rested his cheek on my hair. Stillness, sweetness in the arms of my father, a place of peace in the new dawn of a new day.